Welcome back to Nick Lunge's Comic Corner, classic slash non-classic. This is episode 158 and double shot number 93. Okay. First up, it's Miss Marvel Volume 2 Generation Y, containing issues 6 to 11, Miss Marvel Volume 3. In this book, several things happen. Basically, this kind of also wraps up the first major arc of, the, of this particular series, uh, detailing her origin story. It's not a bad idea to do this. I mean, you got to explore her origin, or basically how she becomes and do all that stuff. And she, there's even the first couple of issues, she teams up with Wolverine, which is a really cool story. And, of course, the main villain is defeated by the end, though it helps us up some... Though the book does end, well, with some, something happening in the next book. By the way, this is actually second of, like, four trades for this, for this particular trade series. But, uh, also, she gets some advice. She finally meets the Inhumans in this book. Uh, she takes she takes care of Lockjaw. Yeah, Lockjaw would come briefly as a supporting character in this book. Um, one thing I do like for this book is the fact that the book has connections to uh, the Inhuman series written by Charles Show. That way I have read all 14 issues of that, including the annual. Otherwise, though, yeah. I mean, still the same artist. Uh, G. Willow Wilson uh, writes the book. Of course, it's a reference to Carol Danvers. Of course, she actually meets Carol Danvers much later than this, like, like a over like ten issues. Uh, I would say about ten issues. I think about six issues after this book. I'd say about issue sixteen or seventeen. She meets finally meets Carol Danvers. But yeah, this book is really good. There's a promotion for the previous book, remember the same people. Oh, and by the way, this this person also doing A Force as well. Yep. Um, it's nice the fact that Medusa even shows up in here for a couple issues. Um, this is really good. I definitely recommend you getting this. Um, I give this book a 9 out of 10. It's a great book to read. And I definitely recommend getting not only these trades, but get these eventual issues as well. This series is really good. I definitely recommend you pick it up. This is something original from Marvel. First time thinking, is there anything original from Marvel? Here you go. A character is completely unrelated to, uh, the previous character. Not even related to the character. Take a real code name. Okay. Next one is something really cool. Spider-Man, the death of Gene DeWolf. Collecting issues. Peter Parker, the spectacular Spider-Man. Issues 107 to 110. And the follow-up story from issues 134 to 136. When the book was, the head of the words, Peter Parker, Death and Basically, this is widely considered to be one of the greatest Spider-Man stories ever written and ever told. Because this woman gets killed off at the start of the story. And it's also a great story because this story also builds up the friendship between Daredevil and Spider-Man. That's why this book is really awesome. You also get, even Daredevil has actually have a history with actually one of the victims of the Sin Eater. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, that's the Sin Eater. Yeah. Uh, also, this book does help play into... Uh, the creation of Venom. So, if you're interested in basically learning about the backstory of Venom, read this very book, because this very book is referenced. The, the story in here, the first four issues, by the way, the reference in the Venom saga, basically, why Eddie Brock became Venom. This story is the reason why I forward it. And as you think, like, he's wearing a black costume. Is that the alien costume? Nope. That is a plain cloth costume given to him by the black cat, Seven issues prior to this very story in Peter Parker, the Spectacular Spider-Man issue 100. This is a really cool book to read. It's got fantastic artwork and writing by, by the awesome Peter David. If you're a Peter David fan, pick this up. If you're a Spider-Man fan, pick this up. Anybody, pick up this dang book. This book is really good. And you'll love this story. Oh, and the follow-up story, he... Uh, they basically follow up this thing. It takes place about a year later, even though it comes about two years after the story ends. And, of course, Fabric takes on Electro, and the Sin Eater is taken care of at the end of the story. Really cool look at this book, a 9.7 out of 10. Okay? Stay tuned for the next episode, which will be episode 159, and double shot number 94. Okay? See you there. Bye.